Hi, welcome to the Q&A recording of the film, Gabi, between ages 8 and 13, playing as part of 11th European Union Human Rights Film Base. Joining us now is the director of the film, Engeli Broberg from Stockholm. Hi, Engeli. Hi. Welcome. Nice Thank meeting you. you. <laughs> Thank you. It's nice to be here. Mm -hmm. uh, Engeli, you're a director and a screenwriter with a background as a dancer. Uh, you created several short documentaries and web series. Uh, Gabi Between Ages 8 and 13 is your first documentary uh, feature film. In your films, you are uh, interested in themes such as loneliness, exclusion and identity. Uh, we see these themes in Gabi as well. The film is an intimate portrait of Gabi, a lively kid who feels that she is different from other girls. So you follow Gabi from age uh, eight to 13 as she struggles to find her place in the world. Can you tell us a bit about when and how did you come up with the idea? When did you meet Gabi and uh, how did you shape the story? Yeah, absolutely. Um, so the idea for the film came from meeting Gabby. So it wasn't like I had this, oh, I wanted to make something on this theme. It was a friend of mine who was working on a um, commercial and Gabby was an extra in that commercial. And my friend was like, Ingrid, I, I met this kid and I just, yeah, I just think that you should uh, meet her and there might be something. And um, so I met up with Gabby and her mom. And as soon as I started to talk to Gabby, I just got blown away by, by the way that Gabby talked about things that I thought a lot about myself when I was little and things like what is a boy what is a girl and you know do we really have to choose but I felt like Gabby had this way of like she had a vocabulary that I definitely did not have her age and a lot of children don't so I felt like it was such a interesting way to talk about these questions like through the eyes of a child but still like on a level that both children and teenagers and adults could really like understand and relate to so that's um that's how it started and uh, from the beginning i thought i was going to make something short but the more i got to know gabby the more i felt like okay this is a story that needs time and like to be able to like uh follow like a full development definitely i mean i agree that uh, gabby has the, her own vocabulary really um, and there is this sentence in the press kit of the film, showing the search for identity and underlining the human right to belong and to be who you are. And after seeing the film, we really understand what it's like uh, to be born with a gender you are not related, you, are, you don't connect with. Uh, so we can perfectly understand how hard it is uh, for a kid. Unfortunately, we are not living in a world where everyone is accepted with their authentic identities. Would you like to say something about this? Yeah, no, but that is really true. And it's extremely sad that that is the case, that uh, there are not like um, space for people to be themselves like everywhere in the world. Um, and I feel like, um, there are progress made everywhere, but there is a lot more needed. I mean, even in Sweden, as you see in the film, like it, it's it's uh, it's um, yeah, it's hard to 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 be able to find that space, and you have to be really really brave. But sometimes braveness is not enough because in some places it is dangerous, like threatening for your life. So it's a struggle. Definitely. Um, so I would like to ask a question about your camera in the film. The trust that Gabi uh, gives you to allow you there with your camera is really amazing. Uh, it is very clear that you develop a close connection uh, both with Gabi and uh, her family. Gabi mostly isn't aware of the camera. I mean, uh, she is doing things such as playing football, uh, playing with the Lego cars, etc. How I wonder how did you establish this much mutual trust uh, with her and the family? Yeah, uh, we did have uh, 
a lot of time where we just hung out and didn't have the camera, uh, especially in the beginning, just to get to know each other. Uh, so it was not just about me getting to know Gabby. Gabby also had to get to know me and also my DOP. Um, and we kept the, the team really small. So it was just me and the, the DOP just to make it, yeah, to, to create the space where um, we can all be like open and, and also just have fun together. Because when you're working with a child, it is, uh, um, it is usually on their terms. Uh, because if, if Gabby don't want to like sit down and have a conversation or if Gabby wants to do any, something else, you yourself and your uh, uh, DOP have to like get into the kind of like pace and the rhythm of a child and almost almost be as child your, yourself, you know? So it is very different following um, a child from uh, following adults, I, I feel. Uh, but it was a lot about like listening and seeing like, okay, what uh, what can we do right now and what should we wait until later and uh, yeah like spending time without the camera also it's really amazing work uh, really um, and also it must be challenging uh, it's a huge responsibility maybe documenting a young person at this age can you tell us a bit about major emotional challenges you faced yeah but definitely um it is an extreme uh, responsibility to, to, to portray a child. And one of the things that I wanted to like really um, avoid like throughout the other, in, entire film was to put any label on Gabby because Gabby does not label herself. And it's definitely like not my job as a director to say like, oh, this is what Gabby is or, uh, and the, so there, that's why the film is focusing on the like explorations and like, you know, the, 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 yeah, both like how Gabby is like um, researching and trying to figure out things, but also like exploring with, uh, uh, between herself and like the grown ups. what happens if I say this, what happens if I like cut my hair like this, what happens? Like, so that was what I really wanted the film to be about, like, following along Gabby on the journey, but not like commenting on it and not like trying to like put um, like my opinions or my voice in it. Like I really, really wanted it, it to be like Gabby's story and Gabby's uh, point of view and Gabby's voice, you know. And I think you succeed this in the film, in my opinion. Um, so, I mean, there are a lot of discussions around the film um, like Gabi is a very grown-up soul um, at some point she makes this philosophical uh, comment they say everyone is different in Sweden but that's not true everyone is just the same uh, they are like robots in school it sucks she says uh, so even though the film is about gender stereotypes it seems like uh, it is more than that um, would you like to say something about this yeah, I mean, Gabby feels very uh, trapped, especially at that point in the film, in the way that we all try to kind of be in the same mold. And it is, as you say, it's not just about gender. It is about like the way we go about things, like how we do things. And that's what I feel like is so freeing with the way that Gabby thinks. Like it is really outside the box. And I, I think that, um, you know, spending these five years with Gabby, I felt like she really inspired me to think outside the box a lot more. And I hope that um, she, through the film, inspires others to do that too. And to see like, okay, we, we might be a little narrow on a lot of things in our everyday life. <laughs> yes. And um, Angeli, if there's anything you would like to add that I didn't address, uh, please feel free to comment. Yeah, no, I think, yeah, I feel like you, you, you got, uh, uh, yeah, I, I feel like you got uh, uh, all of it in there. Uh, yeah, it um, it really has been an adventure to to um, follow Gabby this way and get to know Gabby and her family. It is a very like um, you know unique bond that you create when you when you 
follow someone during this time of uh, life and for that the, that many years it 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 has been an adventure and it um, yeah we're, we're still in touch and uh, mm. uh, try to meet up whenever we can and talk on the phone so I was just wondering about it actually yeah yeah we're, we're, we're planning on going uh, on a concert together actually this uh, spring so we're <laughs> we're, we're, we're still, still in touch mm -hmm. yeah uh, Ingrid, thank you very much for joining our uh, session and telling the story of Gabi uh, and thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs>